This is the oxidation of ethanol using a solution of hydrogen peroxide and iron 2 sulfate that's been acidified with sulfuric acid. Uh, we're going to carry out the oxidation in this pear shaped flask and the first thing we need to do is to introduce into it about 0 0.05 grams of iron 2 sulfate. That's a small spatula measure. Here's the iron sulfate and we'll be needing about that much, which we pre-weighed. We dissolve that into about half a mil to a mil of two molar sulfuric acid. And because the reaction mixture boils quite vigorously later on, we also need to add a few anti-bumping granules. Once we've dissolved the iron 2 sulfate, we can add the ethanol. And we need to add about 1 to 2 mils of ethanol estimate that and now we're ready to add the hydrogen peroxide well here's the hydrogen peroxide this is 20 volume hydrogen peroxide and at the moment with a the thermometer reading the temperature it's at about 11 and a half degrees centigrade we're going to add a, an excess of the hydrogen peroxide to the flask, like so. Probably a little bit too much there, a little bit past the two thirds mark. But you may be able to detect that there's a slight yellow coloration due to oxidation of the iron two to iron three. And attach that to the distillation arm like so making sure that's a nice secure join there well this reaction is exothermic but we need to give it a little start uh, with some hot water a little kick at the start and we do that with hot water hot water from the kettle here so goes from the water bath. That water's near to boiling. We're going to collect any product that's uh, produced in this conical flask here and that's going to be uh, surrounded by ice. We're expecting to get ethanol which has a very low boiling point of around 20 degrees centigrade. So if we attach the conical flask to the distillation apparatus and then surround with ice. Well, you may see some condensation appearing on the top of the pear shaped flask here, and that indicates a volatile liquid in there. Of course, we've got ethanol in there. 
the temperature on the thermometer at the moment is reading 25 degrees centigrade. There is something of a lag phase during this reaction, but once it gets going it can be rather, rather quick. Let's now turn the water on on the condenser.